What is up, girl bosses? Today, I gathered five of my friends to hunt me down over the course of 24 hours. Whoever delivers the finishing blow gets $1 million. If I survive, I get to take their life. While that's going on, I am going to make this reaction to the new Veil of Maya track, Godhead. You know, it's been a, been quite a minute since we last heard a track from them. I believe the last one was Synthwave Vegan. Pretty chaotic, uh, but pretty epic. So I'm excited to get into this. Uh, yeah, there's no announcement about uh, any album or anything. So we wait, we wait in anticipation. But I say, let's do it. Before we do, would really appreciate if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Helps me out a ton. Helps you find new music. Also, in the description down below, you can find links to my social media like TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff. TikTok actually passed my YouTube, so I don't know where my life has come to. Uh, that's something that happened. Uh, Sunscourge. Sunscourge. My music product, Sunscourge. It's also down there. You heard it in the intro. There's all sorts of fun and joy down there. Cost you nothing to at least give it a look, right? Cost you nothing. Let's do it. We got swords. Women. Morpheus. like Deathcore Monster Mash. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, bald metalcore vocalists, they're built different. Wait, is that going in or out? Oh. Mm, nah. I don't think he's okay. What the fuck? I lost one. Dude, they... Go head? Oh god head! I I thought that was a demand wait, why are there twenty seconds left? Part one! There's lore now? What the fuck? Alright, that was that was Godhead. I really thought it said go head, like go get him, champ. Uh but I feel I feel like <laughs> I haven't heard anything like this. I feel like Veil of Maya uh, recently, they've just kind of been doing their own thing. They feel like, uh, like they've really been going in on the gen element. I feel like, you know, in, in metalcore, deathcore, like the, the, the whole uh, gen element has, has remained pretty surface level, you know, pretty simple breakdowns. 
Uh, lots of space, but they're like, they're, they're bringing uh, like some, some really fucking weird time signatures with this track. They did this, a similar thing with Synthway Vegans, like at times like you kind of lose one, but it's like, like they're really amping up. It's, it's interesting to think like, you know, the, <laughs> this was a metalcore band. I don't know if they can still be described as that. I don't know what they can be described as because they don't really sound like anyone else. <laughs> Lucas's voice though. Fucking sick. It's something like the moment you shave your head, you either become a, a, a skinhead or you're really good at, at vocals. It's the duality of man, if you will. Uh, so it's, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's it's so hard to put this into words. <laughs> like what we just heard. I, you, I I like to be a man of comparison because it's you know a nice way to find new bands. Like, oh, this sounds like this. And you're like, oh, well, I like that. So I'll go listen to this band. They, they just sound like themselves. Like no one, no one sounds like this. And it's interesting, because they've also been consistent with the sound, too. Like, between this and Synthway Vegan. So, you know, maybe new, new, new sound. I will say, I do kind of miss the Veil of Maya choruses, but, you know, that's... They've already done that, right? So, why, why, why keep making those when you can make newer things? So, so I, I kind of can get understand that rationale, though it may not be their rationale. Uh, maybe we do get a Veil of Maya chorus at some point in a, in a future release. But I'm like, huh, those are good. But, you know, if you if you want those, then you can just listen to the old stuff. So I do appreciate them sort of developing their sound further. That's some cool stuff. Really, really chaotic. I did lose one at times, but I was I was enjoying it. Really great vocal stuff. Uh, not too overcrowded, like especially like ambience-wise. I myself, I do love overcrowded ambience, but sometimes it can be uh, overdone. I think the way the song opened uh, without ambience and at times didn't have ambience made that sort of ending hit a little harder when they did have those ambient elements uh, more subtly throughout the song. Uh, but yeah. Oh, that was some good stuff. Uh, curious what you guys think of this track compared to Synthway Vegan. Uh, what was the other song we heard? We heard Viscera. Yeah, it was Viscera, and there was, there was another one. But they've, they've been a little a little spacious with these releases. So I'm curious. I'm, I'm curious what's next, because it's like every now and again, they're like, here, our gift to you. And we're like, thank you. What's next? And they're like, shh, be grateful. And maybe we should be grateful. Have you ever thought about that? Ever thought about that? Bye.